It is so cold outside right now. My pole has been freezing every time I go fishing. <sighs> I can't even reel this, that is so annoying. Come on, I just unfroze that one. Let's fix it. Water freezes at exactly 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That means anytime the air is colder than that, our line is gonna freeze to our pole. Here's the plan. Step one, we need a pole to test them. I got a message from a dude that makes rods in Wisconsin, and now I'm just waiting for it to show up. Step two, get the parts. This is actually a pretty easy setup since there's only like four parts to this entire build. This is the Arduino. It's a super small programmable board and it's basically the brain of this entire build. So in a real build, I'd be using something called an Arduino Nano because it's only about this big, but I already had this from an old hackathon project in college, so that's what I wanted to use for the build. With this, I'll be able to program it to measure the air temperature as well as set the heat levels for the pole whenever it's colder than 32 degrees. Next, we have the temperature sensor. This temperature sensor reads in something called analog and basically just reads from a data set from 0 to 1023. With the Arduino reading that analog temperature sensor, we can just set these heating elements on or off based on what the temperature is outside. And lastly, the battery. This can also be slimmed way down, but I was just using old hackathon stuff, so I'm running it off a 9 volt battery. But in like a more polished version, I could easily run it off a little like LiPo that's really this small. Now all we have to do is code the Arduino to read the temperature sensor and then set that heating element on or off based on what the temperature reads. Okay, code's done. All right, the build's finally done, here it is. What I ended up doing is just putting a heating element in the tip as well as the handle. Now in a future version, I plan on putting heating elements in each guide, but since this is just a version one, I kind of wanted to make it as simple as possible. So in like a next version, I'm probably gonna use that smaller board like I talked about, and then have a smaller battery, because if I downsize those, I'll be able to fit all the electronics in the base of the handle and then it'll pretty much just look seamless. It's a cold like 28 degrees right now, so we're all bundled up, we're gonna get out there. Probably not gonna fish like a bunch of hours, but say if we fish for like solid 30 minutes and this doesn't freeze, then I think we can call it a success. Yeah, we're gonna go to the rivers because usually those don't freeze even when it does get super cold. Time to go test it out. <laughs> did, you, did you get that? <laughs> All right guys, this is the only place we could find that wasn't frozen. All, like even the lake, Lake Nesmith that we're right next to is solid ice. But this is like moving water, so it's really open. I'm just throwing the Ned rig. I'm not even trying to catch something. We're basically just gonna fish here for like 20, 30 minutes. And after that, if it doesn't freeze at all, I think we can call that a success. It's already pretty warm in my hand. And then the tip's pretty warm to the touch as well with that guide getting warm. I didn't heat all the guides, but I'm hoping since this front one's the smallest and that's where all the ice builds up that it should work. But if we notice it freezing up in uh, version two, we can just put guide, we can just put heating elements across all of them. But yeah, we're gonna fish here for like 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30. And after that, if it doesn't freeze, then I think we can call it a success. Definitely don't expect to catch something right now, but if we do, that would make it even better. Oh, it's so cold though. This heated handle's so nice. I definitely need to put more elements around this whole thing because right now my fingers are warm, but like my palm isn't. And then maybe even put a heating element on this knob. I don't know how I would do that, but that'd be a nice little improvement. And then obviously a bigger rod. It seems to be working so far. I mean, there's no ice built up on the tip. It's nice and warm. But yeah, that temperature sensor, I hit it right under the board right here. And I mean, it's 27 degrees right now, so it's not gonna turn off. If it did get past 32, it would shut off saving the battery. But yeah, this thing's showing no ice on the tip, which is awesome. Cause I remember a couple weeks ago when I made my last vlog video, within three casts maybe, my entire thing was freezing up. And I'm using the exact same line, ex exact same leader, and the guides on this pole are actually smaller than my other pole. And I mean, this isn't freezing up at all, so 
I definitely think this is a su success. If we can catch a fish in this freezing weather, that'd be even nicer, but I, I don't know about that. But yeah, just the heated handle is really nice because I'm, I'm like freezing. I definitely didn't dress warm enough, but I'm wearing that new Fishing with Gabriel hoodie that's dropping in the spring. And, oh, oh, I definitely just had a bite. Okay, so there are fish in here. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm definitely not dressed properly, so the heated handle is really nice. I can either put more elements on this, or when I work the board into the handle, I can put it on this, so then I'd have two handles to put on. But I mean, it's working really well. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. I made about 30 casts already, and there's no ice on the tip. My hand's nice and warm, so I'm definitely calling this project a success. I will be working on version two, but that's probably not gonna be made for a couple more weeks. So I wanted to make this video now, so. Yeah, we're gonna keep fishing just in case we do catch one, but I definitely am calling this project a success. All right guys, it's really cold, but as you can see, the heated rod worked really well. There's no ice built up on the tip. A uh, few improvements I can tell right away is this heating element on the handle was really nice, but I need to put like heating elements around the whole thing because right now only like a couple of my fingers are getting warm where I really need that whole hand to get warm because it's freezing out here, but yeah, it turned out really good. Definitely making a version two in the future, but, but yeah, turned out to be a really good proof of concept. Probably won't fish a whole lot with it just because I hate fishing in the cold, but this was a really fun project to do. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.